I am now introducing Insane Ian. Achievement unlocked! Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician. Because that's what I am, and that's what I do, and that's what this is, and that's why you're here. Why you're here this week is for 1984's by Word Burglar from their most recent The Spinner Rack EP. Uh, if this is your first time joining us, yes, I am a comedy musician. I react exclusively to comedy music because, you know, I have my knowledge there. What that means for you is that I'm going to pause the video. Kind of a lot, actually. This way I'm not laughing over the jokes and missing other lines. This way I can talk about it and give analysis on how the video works with the lyrics and how they work in tandem, enhancing the jokes. And sometimes explaining the jokes, because that's always fun for people, apparently. And sometimes it means just sitting back and laughing my damn head off. It's a crapshoot whatever you're going to get, but I think it's a good time either way. If you could please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, my music and comedy early, exclusive Patreon reactions, like my reaction to the Stupendium's The, Rim, the Ribbon video, I almost called it something else, The Ribbon by The Stupendium. If you're wondering where that reaction is, that is exclusively over on Patreon. It's not a comedy song, so it didn't really fit with a comedy musician reacts. But if you still want to see me react to it, that is exclusively over on Patreon. Anyway, all of that out of the way, let us dive into this. Uh, Word Burglar is a uh, nerdcore rapper uh, from Canada, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but uh, very good lyricist. Uh, I don't know a whole lot of Word Burglar's songs. I've heard a couple tracks here and there. But then they released The Spinner Rack a couple weeks ago. Uh, and it was all songs about comics and old-school Spinner Rack comics, and I, my nostalgia went, yes, please, and uh, listened to the EP when driving on my many trips back and forth to Maryland recently, and uh, really, really loved the EP. 1984 is probably the funniest track on that album, personally, I think. Uh, I don't know if everything Word Burglar does is funny, but this EP is great. Very funny, and 1984 is the funniest track on there, in my opinion, so I'm very happy to see that this one got a music video. Let's dive in, shall we? Long intros are long, it's fine, whatever. Hey there, special characters. The special adventures of Jumpy Milkshake and Flag Person. I love the tape distortion sound of, like, the... the tape getting worn out and you're getting that little vocal distortion on the music and vo and and spoken parts there. How how loud do I have that? Okay, that's kind of a loud thing, but let's it's the special adventures of Love that. Milkshake and Flag Person. He'll return after these messages. Introducing the world's leading covert squad of uniquely talented super professional secret specialists. <laughs> They're all G.I. Joe style figures, but 1984. Not 1984. They're the 1984, meaning uh, they're in the 80s. It's very 80s ish, but also maybe there's a hundred. Or a 1980 of them. That might be. I don't remember the song. I listened to it once. Who are they? There's only one way to find out. By the 1984, a multi skilled elite unit of super agents fighting for peace, obliterating evil. Isn't the game? Everybody's gotta have a rad code name like Quick Wit. She makes quips and jokes, keeping morale high while kicking in foes. It said joke books sold separately. <laughs> also, that is a fantastic mullet. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, I don't know if you can tell that I like the 80s with my Castlevania hat and Ghostbusters shirt, but this is right up my alley. Uh, man, I'm just, like, blatantly... Uh, yeah. Oh, name like quick wit. She makes quips and jokes, keeping morale high while kicking in foes. Strike zone, the baseball theme guy. His 
watching machine guns making them cry. <laughs> it's like an old 80s toy commercial. And like strike zone. Any likeness to a real baseball player is coincidental. That's so good. <laughs> they all look like the like the old school like O-ring action figures like the old G.I. Joes that like their waist was held on to like the little joint bo uh, bottom half by a rubber band and like if you had them for a very long time eventually that rubber band would rot and the torso would detach from the legs baseball theme guy his pitching machine guns making him cry wanna know why grenade balls is tough he's a leap grenade balls does not blow up an expert in blowing up stuff sneaky <laughs> <laughs> He's an expert in blowing up stuff. <laughs> Never would have guessed that from from grenade balls. Uh, <laughs> also, these names are hilarious. And again, this goes back to to something I've mentioned before. You're, it's basically a list song, and you're just listing weird things or or comedic things. And it's a great way to get out multiple jokes in a in a in a time in a span of a song because you're just listing weird things and weird things in a list tends to be funny you know all here's here's a bunch of wacky code names and what all they mean and why they have this code name you know it's it's entertaining in in that respect to me anyway sneaky pants does not throw parties let's take it back a little She makes quips and jokes, keeping morale high while well, kicking in foes. Strike zone, the baseball theme guy. His pitching machine guns, making him cry. Wanna know why? Grenade balls is tough. He's a leading expert in blowing up stuff. <laughs> you won't hear him stepping, throwing surprise parties with silent weapons. You throwing surprise parties with silent weapons. You won't hear him stepping. That's because he's sneaky. I don't know why his outfit's polka dotted. Whatever. Uh, like people, wildlife was one till he got abandoned at the age of one. <laughs> he was a person until he was abandoned at the age of one. Does not talk. <laughs> Weapons, you like people, wildlife was one till he got abandoned at the age of one. Left alone as a baby, raised at a zoo. Now he talks to animals like talking to you. 1984, so I know it's hard to remember. All 1980 members. I, I had a feeling it was on 1980 members with the name 1984. It's not just evocative of the 80s, but also that's the number of members of the toys that you have to collect. Uh, but I, 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 that was like the only point of it that I retained <laughs> and clearly mentioned in the opening. Whoop, whoop, sorry. Uh, that's why you have to go and collect them all. Tell your parents they can buy them at the mall. <laughs> that was the thing. Man, back in the 80s, and here's the thing, here's a little thing about me. Uh, I saw collect them all as an instruction, not a suggestion, and would, like, beg my parents. Oh, I have this one. I need this one because it says collect them all, so I have to collect them all. I need, so glad I never got into Pokemon, because catching them, I would have gone nuts trying to catch them all. Uh, you so like any like He-Man figures, I had to collect them all. All the Transformers, I had to collect them all. I didn't. I didn't always get all of them. I got most of the He-Man figures. Um, I probably still don't. I don't still have them, but I had them. Uh, and but like He-Man, Transformers, Turtles, Ninja Turtles in '87, collect them all. So I did, and they all had those like cards on the back of the box that like had stats, and I would cut those out of the box and keep them, and like had a stack of that cardboard garbage for the turtles anyway uh yeah this makeup it's like ultimate warrior from 80s wrestling but that glorious mullet with the shaved sides it's brilliant it's brilliant you 1984 so i know it's hard to remember all 1980 members that's why you have to go and collect them all tell your parents they can buy them at the mall now <laughs> <laughs> buy them at the mall now uh, the football pads and the camo with that, that's a great outfit. Why? Uh, they've all grown up! Like nutritional beast, he's a team. <laughs> Made from non-vegan plastic. <laughs> this is where, like, you've got, after the chorus, it's like the rule of three. It steps it up with the weird. Vegan, so 
socially active, a pound of teeth in, party line, all calling devices. Is busy leaving a message. I'm calling out every single written one, I'm sorry. Vegan, socially active, a pound of teeth in, party line, all calling devices are her communications, always a nice... Not is, if busy, leave a message. <laughs> Not, because it's a party line. If the party line is busy, leave a message. I said, is busy leaving a message? That's wrong. Like nutritional beast, he's a team vegan, socially active, a pound of teeth in, party line. Also, social, like he, he's a teen vegan, socially active at beating teeth in. Something about being socially active and violent. That, that shouldn't, you know, those things don't generally go together, usually. I mean, they can. It's just funny when they do to opposing things. That's, that's comedy. And as we know, comedy is funny. I don't know what I'm doing. Nutritional beast, he's a team vegan, socially active, a pound of teeth in, party line, all calling devices are her communications, always the nicest, Neil Hall, all the Neil Hall? I don't, I don't understand that, oh wait, he's got a holy bible with him. So instead of keel hall, which is like a pirate term, uh, salvation not guaranteed. Yeah, okay, it's a, it's a kneeling... Praying for the Bible. Okay, I get it now. All calling devices are her communications. Always the nicest. Neil Hall, the chaplain's assistant, a faithful non combatant to have on your mission? <laughs> a faithful non combatant. So, like, doesn't even fight, just prays. That's that's the whole thing, and they and they're all like GI Joe style names too. That's why the figures look like GI Joes because they're all like you know you had like. You know, I, I was I was not as into GI Joes as a kid as I was Transformers and He-Man and stuff. Uh, my parents didn't want me to get GI Joes because that was actual violence. They thought, uh, you know, real guns and tanks and stuff. And uh, Transformers was lasers and He-Man was like swords and sorcery and stuff. Uh, and you know, GI Joe, yeah, no, it was that was still lasers. They didn't actually have violence on the. TV version. Uh, so, you know, it was red lasers versus blue lasers. But uh, my parents didn't care. They were realistic looking, so they were like, no. Uh, or at least my mom. I don't know if my dad cared. But, uh, yeah. So I never got into the G.I. Joe. So I, like, I only kind of tangentially know G.I. Joe characters. But I know they all have, like, weird names, like Slow Snowblind and and, uh, you know, you've got your, your Duke and Lady J who don't have that wacky of names. But, like, You've got, like, you know, the the fisherman guy who looks like a pirate with a parrot and... Ah, uh, stuff. Snake eyes are... No, snake eyes, because they made a terrible movie for him. Neil Hall, the chaplain's assistant, a faithful non-combatant to have on your mission? Child kick. What's a kid doing... <laughs> Child kick. Kicking is bad. Do not attempt. It's like a sidekick, but he's a child. I get it. Chaplain's assistant, a faithful non-combatant to have on your mission? Child kick, what's a kid doing there? She joined the team when someone had an affair. <laughs> <laughs> she, sorry. Uh, what, what, why is there a, a small girl child in the team? Oh, no, she joined the team because she's someone had an affair and, and the kid is now along with them now. That's so funny. We don't know who whose kid child kick is, though, because there's... 1980 members. Yeah. Trick rap, the rapping psychiatrist <laughs> here to listen in between rap right now. Not, no, not a real doctor. Man, you're in for a spin. <laughs> Disc man. <laughs> I guess the other one's kind of like a Dr. Dre thing, but not a real doctor because, you know, so many people use the name doctor in the 80s also. Uh, Dr. J was a basketball player. Disc man, of course, they called portable CD players disc mans. Uh, may cause injury or blindness. Uh, and also shrink rap, because rap is in the name, not without, not with, it's without the W. So he's a rapper and a psychiatrist. 
I get it. Shrink wrap. That's great. Psychiatrist here to listen in between rhyme writing hits with this man. You're in for a spin, shooting CDs like hurling shuriken. Oh. <laughs> like hurling shuriken. That's that's a really good rhyme. <laughs> so mean with the hair does not grow back, which is why he's bald, I guess. Clippers cleaning the team so they don't look like hipsters. <laughs> He's got the Clippers cleaning the team so they don't look like hipsters. It's, like, there's, it's so ridiculous. Also, just the sheer number is ridiculous, and also all the names are all ridiculous, and they just keep getting increasingly weird. I love that. Last nerve, the team single dead. Got no free time, don't make it mad. Not <laughs> and the, the grown-up kids are leaving now because it's just like, it's going to keep going. Uh, Last, nerve. Last Nerve, technically still married. <laughs> and he's got his hands on his head like that's, that he's on his last nerve. That's so funny. The team single dad, got no free time, don't make him mad. He's a single dad, but he's te technically still married. That's good. 1984, so I know it's hard to remember all 1980 members. That's why you have to go and collect them all. Tell your parents they can buy them at the mall. <laughs> nope, you can't escape. You gotta come back for more commercial. <laughs> it's taken them years to name all of them, so they've grown up. <laughs> the new series. <laughs> <laughs> They're all way older now. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Yes. Meanwhile, uh, the spokesperson, word burglar, or if that is him or not, uh, has not aged. <laughs> and is still very 80s. The new series is here, featuring Lobster Trap, the Team Pirate. Who would have thought of that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's the Team Pirate. Who would have thought that the team has a pirate? Kind of in the Joes. Uh, Lobster Trap is allergic to shellfish. That's perfect. Snow pack with skills of snow has arctic abilities nobody knows <laughs> what are arctic abilities just doesn't get cold uh, that snow, pack. snow not included keep away from ice because the, the rubber band on the inside will freeze and break it makes sense to me with skills of snow has arctic abilities nobody knows sandcraft may melt in the sun that's a thing people did. Grabbed the, the magnifying glass and melted your G.I. Joes. Usually it was better with the army men, like the little green army men. That was a lot easier to do. Less less plastic to get through. Can handle the heat in the desert. Can even get sand to speak. Reuse. Wait, get sand to speak? It's like Aquaman, but lamer. Uh, reuse, non-compostable. Recycling. He's a recycling expert, climate controlling, to heighten the effort. Unregistered nurses makes you feel... <laughs> it's just... <laughs> You've heard of a registered nurse, an RN. Uh, this is just an unregistered nurse. Just no code name, just unregistered nurse. Like, that's a code name, but it's also exactly what they are. Not a licensed doctor, unregistered nurse. That is, and I, I think it said medicine for play purposes only. Recycling expert, climate controlling, to heighten the effort, unregistered nurse. Medicine is for play purposes only. That is so genius. Makes you feel better with medicine and won't let the enemy get her. You better watch out, coin ops on the case. His face is pretend. <laughs> God, something like a noise came out from deep within me with that laugh. That was weird. I don't know if the camera picked that up. <laughs> like, there was a wheeze happening as I was laughing. Weird. Uh... <laughs> the, the, like, they're like little, like, I can't think of the word. Uh, like, they're, they're, they're little, like, notes, notes about the figures. Like, 
you know, a, you know, small choking hazard usually or like little warning labels they have for figures. Choking hazard, uh, the medicine is only for pretend. Um, this is like just his catchphrase, his face is pretend. That is so funny to me for some reason. You better with medicine and won't let the enemy get her. You better watch out, coin ops on the case. The team robot with a TV face. <laughs> okay, it's a TV face. That's why his face is pretend. Toy is not food. <laughs> watch out, coin ops on the case. The team robot with a TV face. Shop side beats eggs like he beats foes. And just wait till you taste his meatloaf. Collect them all and... He also makes me loaf. That's... <laughs> I know I paused this one a lot, and I'm sorry, but, like, there were so many things packed into everything. I wanted to make sure I got it all and didn't talk over the song doing it. Uh, it's This is in no ways a good way to listen to this song. Uh, like I said, I have heard it once before, but still, at the same time, pointing out the jokes. I don't want to laugh over things and miss things. And... Man, there is so much packed into each verse. Not but just but not just with the visuals, but with the the lyrics too describing what each of their their abilities are. Absolutely genius top to bottom. I love this. Beats eggs like he beats foes and just wait till you taste his meatloaf, collect them all and send away for code name. He Holy crap, code name. While supplies last, void were prohibited, no purchase necessary other than the purchase of all 1980 action figures and accessories. Must be legal. Toy playing age to enter. Toy playing age? Sure. Uh, to receive your free codename action figure, submit all proof of purchases and $19.00 and $19 shipping and handling fees were applicable. Expires October 21st, 1987. Offer not valid in Hawaii. So you'd have to send 1,980 proof of purchases. That's a big envelope. And plus also spend 19 bucks on the figure. Incredible. Also, I love that code name's code name is code name. Almost said that as many times as I said the phrase comedy music in the opening. And just wait till you taste his meatloaf. Collect them all, then send away for code name. He's the one who gives everybody code names. <laughs> code names skill is giving out code names. God damn, that's funny. <laughs> I gave a lot of people nicknames in college and high school. It's kind of like I just did it. Like I'm like I don't. Yeah. You know, I, I can remember your name, but I feel like you answered to this nickname, so this is your nickname now. It's kind of kind of a jerk sometimes, uh, but uh, yeah, that code name would have been my code name. That is hilarious. It's like naming your password password. You know, so good. Let them all then send away for code name. He's the one who gives everybody code names. 1984, so I know it's hard to remember. <laughs> all 1980 members. That's why you have to go and collect them all. Tell your parents they can buy them at the mall now. <laughs> They're so tired. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Okay, so we're having some outtakes at the end here. This was phenomenal. I I love this. Just stylistically making it look like a 1980s uh, toy commercial. And just because there's so many team members, the kids have aged up. Absolutely genius. Love that Word Burglar doesn't age at all. That is also hilarious. Man, it's so good. Uh, uh, <laughs> So much presence. <laughs> I guess that's the crew. Why is there a fence? That's so good. Uh, child one, child two, child three, adult one, adult two, old adult three, older adult. 1980 foreman word burglar shot on location in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. The, uh, absolutely phenomenal. Great cast. Uh, great video. That's gr awesome. Other than a few snapped thumbs and a broken O-ring, no action figures were harmed during production. Uh, amazing. 
uh, Norman Howard production. Bravo to Norman Howard uh, for filming this. This was great. Bravo to everybody involved in the making of this video. This was this was fantastic. Just get your maniacal laughter on. Hells yeah. Okay. That was great. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I sure as shit did. If you did, please show Word Burglar some love. Go check out the video without me yammering all over it. Link is in the description below. If you did like this, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get my music and comedy early, exclusive reactions, names in the credits over here, and all sorts of other cool perks. Anyway, thanks everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Yeah. 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 I've got original Clue, cause the game is iconic But with updated suspects, just to be ironic I've got Clue Dice and the one that does cards Or an escape room Clue, but it isn't too hard I've got the Liar's Clue and the Vegas Parody and some video game versions I can play on my screen 24 and Buster says I like those properties And this got the one's Clue, cause I get the charities Of course I have the movie and the documentary too And this is for everyone who says I don't have a clue